under this data protection tutorial, we're going to find out how to protect our worksheet as well as our range of data in a spreadsheet. And uh, we'll do that in either one of two ways. And uh, to proceed, we'll go through the uh, menu bar and click on data. And under data, we're going to click on protected sheets and ranges. And from here on the right side, of the spreadsheet in the sidebar labeled protected sheets and ranges uh, will have like a uh, another uh, uh, item that we click on. And so we're going to click on add a sheet or range. And from here, we have two choices, uh, you know, protecting the uh, data by range or by sheet. And then we're going to go by range first. And so as we see here, the, uh, the name of the spreadsheet is is uh, labeled first and as well as what the uh, cell range is. In this case, it's going through A1. And uh, the data goes through uh, D51. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, type in A1 colon D51. And that encompasses the uh, data for state capital, state population, and capital population. And so we're going to protect this whole set of information that we have in our spreadsheet titled state capitals. And then we're going to set permissions. And we have either choices uh, in this uh, pop up window under our, which is titled range ending permissions. We have either restrict who can edit this page. And so you can either select uh, yourself and uh, customize it to uh, other people. Uh, you can add the uh, names of or email addresses of the persons that you want to include who have the privilege of uh, editing the spreadsheet. Or we can uh, go back and uh, select show a warning when editing this range. And so that means that even when you are editing this spreadsheet, an alert will pop up and uh, show you that uh, uh, whatever changes you've made or attempt to make a change in the range of uh, data that is identified, an alert will pop up. And so we're going to click on done. And then now uh, we have changes saved. And so on the uh, sidebar, sidebar here to the right, uh, we have uh, the range that is protected. So if we go into any cell within the range that has been protected of the range of cells that has been protected we type in you know an entry point like type in one two three into this and then uh this uh, alert pops up and says heads up you're trying to edit part of this sheet that shouldn't be changed accidentally edit anyway and we're going to cancel it because we don't want to make any changes but if you do want to make a change then you proceed with okay and so that is uh one way to edit it via a range of data and so we're going to uh, remove that and then we're going to show how to protect it uh, using the spreadsheet so we're going to go through the same procedure we're going to go under data protect sheets and ranges and uh, we're going to click on sheet and so the uh, in the in the field below uh, the title of the or name of the spreadsheet is state capitals which corresponds to the lower left name in the tab here of the spreadsheet state capitals. And so we're going to set permissions for that and we'll follow the same procedure. You know, you can choose either who to restrict you yourself or other editors, or you can just show a warning whenever you're editing this, this, uh, spreadsheet. So we're going to click done. And, uh, and so now the uh, entire spreadsheet is protected. And so any entry into any cell that you put in uh, will have an alert popping up again. So this warning serves to show you, you know, whether you will uh, allow information to be overridden, uh, override that is, or written over in a particular cell, or if not, you can just cancel it. And uh, that is how you protect your data on a spreadsheet.